Getting a US passport can take up to 11 weeks. So let's talk about how you can speed up that process. Here are my top 10 tips for speeding up your passport application. So my first step is that you call ahead to wherever you're going to see if you actually need an appointment. Now, the passport acceptance facility near you, like the county clerk or the post office, for example, might not need an appointment, but there's a chance that they do. So make sure you call ahead to check. That could save you some time. Let's head into number two, which is that you get online and download the DS-11. Now you could get these forms at the acceptance facilities. Why not download them? print them off yourself. You can find them on the State Department website. Uh, you can use a form filler or you could just print it out and write on it. Make sure you fill it out neatly and with the pen like it recommends. My third tip is that you make sure that all of your data is filled in correctly. Any mistakes on your passport application are going to delay the processing, are going to push it back for you. So make sure that the information that's on your birth certificate matches exactly the information that is going on to your DS-11. Tip number four is to make sure that you actually use the correct photos that you need. They can be very stingy about this. So make sure they are two by two inches. They are face forward with any hair behind the ears. The face should take up one to one and three quarters of an inch on the actual picture itself. You shouldn't have any glasses or headwear on unless you have some kind of written religious uh, exemption or a medical exemption, then that might be acceptable. Make sure it's with a white background. Don't wear any military green shirts. I did that once and then they said, you can't do that. You have to put on this thing that they had in the back that was like some shawl and I had to like cover it up so my passport picture just looks uh, very silly. Um, and make sure that it's on matte or glossy paper. That's all they'll accept and it has to be photo quality as well. My fifth recommendation for speeding up your passport application is that you like this video and let me know where you're going down in the comments once you get your passport. And I'm just kidding about that. The actual fifth recommendation that I have for speeding up your passport is that you collect and photocopy all of your important documents. So you're gonna need to prove you're a citizen, for example, and you're going to need one of the following, either a previous undamaged passport, an original birth certificate, with all the relevant details required on the DS-11, uh, a consular report of birth abroad or a CRBA, or also a certificate of naturalization or citizenship will work as well. Make sure you have those, make sure you have a copy of them, but you're also going to need an additional proof of identity, and that could be like your driver's license, um, your passport booker card, a military ID, or again, your certificate of naturalization or citizenship citizenship and then has to have a picture of your likeness on it. My sixth recommendation for getting your passport as quickly as possible is that you apply through the mail. Now, if you are renewing, there's no need to go to any kind of appointment. You just need to download form DS-82 on the State Department website. And then it's a single-sided print only, don't double side uh, print these papers, but then fill it out. And then you also have to provide your previous undamaged passport. It has to be issued to you at 16 ages or later. You can't use a child's passport and, and then go in like this. Um, it has to be issued within 15 years. It can't be a super old passport and it has to be issued in your current name or you have to have some document name change proof. So that can speed it up if you have this stuff and you apply through the mail. Also, make sure you provide your picture, attach a photo in the application, and staple it vertically in the four corners as close to the edge as possible to make sure that it's put on there properly. Lastly, make sure you ship using only the USPS. Don't use UPS, don't use FedEx, don't use DH, DHL or any other mailing service, only USPS or your application will be returned to you and delay your processing time. Um, if you're in Canada, make sure you use Canada Post. So my seventh tip is that you actually pay the appropriate fees correctly. So starting in uh, the end of 2021 or the start of 2022, the new passport fees are $130 for the actual book, uh, $30 if you want a passport card, 
card and you need to pay an execution fee of $35. Uh, generally speaking, I just recommend the passport book. So that plus the execution fee is $165. Make sure you make your check or money order payable to the US Department of State. So my eighth tip for getting your passport as quickly as possible is just to pay to speed it up. So you can actually pay an expedition fee on the outside of your mailing envelope, write the word expedite, uh, pay your extra $60 for the expedition fee, and then that will reduce your general waiting time from eight to 11 weeks to about five to seven weeks. My ninth tip is that you can add on a little bit more money to get even faster return shipping. They say to include an extra $17.56 in the fee and you will get a one to two day return shipping on your passport. My 10th and final tip for getting your passport as quickly as possible is to use the urgent travel or the life or death travel system. Now to do this, you're gonna have to contact the passport agency or the passport center. I'll link to a video in the cards where you can check out how to do that exactly. Now, if you're going to use the urgent travel system, this is for if you need to travel within two weeks or if you need an actual visa within four weeks. There's limited appointments available, so make sure you get on that as soon as possible. Same thing for the life or death emergency travel situations, limited appointments, but you can get your passport within 24 hours. It's the fastest way to do it. I'll link the video right here on the fastest way to get a US passport. And if you liked this one right here, please give it a like, check out that one, and let me know down, it, down in the comments where you're going once you get your passport.